Bonjour, bonjour, and bonjour, everyone. I'm Maggie. And I'm Teddy the Craft Will. And welcome to the Fort Francis Library's Craft Bag Tutorials. Wanna guess what we're doing today, Cody? Hmm, are we making another rocket? <laughs> no, that was last week's craft. Aw, I really wanted to ride in a rocket. Aw, well, maybe in the future we'll all own rockets and be able to blast off into space. But the future seems so far away. <laughs> Don't worry, maybe science will evolve, and maybe it won't be too long until then. Okay. So, what are we making today? I'm glad you asked, Cody. Today we're making popsicle puzzles inspired by Little Bad Red on Instructables. I just love using paint, which we're going to be using today in this craft. It's been so long. Wait, so how do you make puzzles on a popsicle stick? They don't have holes or anything to attach the pieces together. You make a good point, Cody. How about we make it together? I'll show you how. Then we'll be able to find out our answer. Let's hop into the tutorial. Alrighty, so in this bag you'll find one instruction sheet, five containers of paint, white, black, yellow, red, and blue, and 20 popsicle sticks. Make sure to work on a clean surface or a sheet of paper to make cleanup a lot easier. Some extra material you will need is a palette or plate to put your paints on, paint brushes, any size of course, some pencils, a ruler, and some tape. Take a marker, a ruler, and ten of your popsicles. Now take your ruler and measure out one centimeter from the edge of the pipe cleaner. Do this on both sides because this will measure out where to put your tape. Once you have both sides marked, do that to each one of the popsicles. Alrighty, so take your popsicles and your tape, and then tape along the lines that you made. Make sure to do both sides because this will help hold down the popsicle sticks and mark down where to put the paint. You can either fold the tape behind the popsicles or just tape it right down to the table. I think I'm going to do both for this tutorial. Now make sure to do it on the other side. Alrighty, so now once you have both sides taped down, you can start painting. Take your palette, your paints, and your paint brushes. I'm going to give mine a white base coat, just so that it has a background and you can see the painting a little easier. Here's a little lesson in color. Did you know that red, yellow, and blue are primary colors? You can get secondary colors by mixing them all together. So red and yellow make orange, red and blue make purple, and 
yellow and blue make green. If you mix these all together, you get brown. If you want to mix black or white, you can make a color darker or lighter. When you mix a primary color with a secondary color, you get what's called a tertiary color. So for example, if you mix red with orange, you get red-orange. If you mix blue with green, you get blue-green. These are also known as teal, or aqua, or magenta, really cool colors. You can use all these colors in your painting. For my puzzle, I'm drawing a flower from my mom. I like orange and she likes orange too, so I figured this would be a great puzzle to give her. You could also give this as a Christmas gift, or a Mother's Day gift, or a birthday gift. You can also design anything you want, so you could draw a monster on it for Halloween, you can draw Santa Claus, you can draw anything. If you want some suggestions, I'll list them on the screen right now. One recommendation I have is to kind of bridge the gap between each puzzle piece, so then that way it will make it easier to determine which puzzle piece goes where. If you have some empty popsicles, try putting random things up there. I'm putting hearts above my flowers just to make it interesting. Alright, last step I promise. Take off the tape and then you're done! Make sure to carefully take the tape off so that it doesn't pull the paint with it. And there you go! So you can scramble these up and then put them together! And all done! I thought this was a perfect craft for either Mother's Day or a Christmas activity for when you're bored. I see now. You pick up the popsicles and mix them up, then put them together to make a picture. <laughs> exactly, Cody. 
I thought this was a really fun craft that I kind of wish I made more of. I wonder if our friends enjoyed it too. If you'd like, take a picture of your craft and post it to either Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. And tag us in the post. Or use the hashtag FFPLTC Craft Club Crafts. I can't wait to see everyone's puzzle pictures. <laughs> Same here, Cody. Well, I bet making all that crafts was probably messy. Why don't we sing the cleanup song and clean everything up? <laughs> Are you ready? Making stuff was really fun. Let's all sing the cleanup song. Clean up, clean up, everybody clean up, clean up, clean up. Let's all put our stuff away.